Spring is here, and that means steelhead fishing is in full swing. Every year, migratory rainbow trout come from the lakes to the rivers and creeks to spawn and reproduce for the next generation of fish. My goal for this trip is to take you guys along and explore the world famous Steelhead Alley. From new rivers to miles of hiking, not knowing where the stream will take me, but determined to find new scenic spots to explore and fish. I have the honor to document my whole trip with my dad with sweet bower downs to chrome beautiful big steelhead. Sit back and relax, grab the popcorn, and watch a new episode on Obsessed Angling called Steelhead Uncharted. Coming in with a nice juicy spawn bag. First drift. Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, looks like a good one. It's chrome. Looks like a good one. Let's go. First fish on the spawn bag. Spawned out mama. I will take it though. Pretty fish. That is a pretty fish. First fish for me, absolutely beautiful fish. Spawned out hen, but ate the spawn bag. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Send her off. Cromer. Up fishing with Owen today, we been struggling a little bit. We've gotten a couple, but bite's a little slow. We'll keep at it though, see if we can get some more. As fishing went on for a couple hours and only hooking into two fish, I began to question myself on how many fish are actually in the system due to low water. Knowing throughout the day that we are supposed to get rain, my dad and I kept fishing hard. Rain is an important factor when it comes to targeting these fish in the rivers. 
Getting new fresh water allows old fish to filter out and new fish to filter in. The rain started to fall, the water rises and gets a perfect stain, allowing new fish to come in. Knowing that this rain was only the tip of the iceberg and that my dad and I are about to have a great couple days on the water with some epic steelhead action. smokes Wow They sure take off right in there you hook one and it's just straight to the wood little guy little head good fish Brainstorms. I haven't been able to get the big camera out much, but here goes the release. There he is. Oh, he is mean. Mean old buck. Holy smokes. Fighter. Not a giant little guy, but this is a new spot for us. But a beautiful little fish, new spot. Just, just stopped raining so I can finally get the big camera out, but see what we can do, see if we can catch more. Good morning, everyone. It is Easter morning and feeling confident today. We got some rain yesterday. Fish in the rain all day yesterday, but yeah, feeling confident. Hopefully we can catch a bunch of fish. Actually gonna get a chance to get the big camera out today, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one. You get that? There we go, first fish of the morning. Let's go. Let's go. First fish of the morning. Little war horse. Got some battle wounds on him, but he's, he's kind of cool looking. It's a clean one. All right guys, a little update. We have hit seven rivers and creeks so far. It is a grind. There's not a lot of fish in the system right now, but we're working with what we got, finding a few fish in some deep runs, and 
Yeah, we're actually back at the creek where it was raining yesterday. Water clarity still looks perfect. Let's see if we can get some fish here. That's a giant. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Thank goodness. Finally. All right, finally locked up with my biggest fish of the trip. It has been tough. There's not many fish in the river system right now, but finally, sweet battle. They kind of fight like Michigan steel in this in this creek with all the wood. That's yeah, pretty sweet, like a bluish chrome. Get this fish right back in the water. That is a pretty fish. There she goes. Should have been recording for the hooks on this fish, but stuck an absolute beautiful hen. Prettiest fish I caught all trip. There she goes. All right, little steelhead. I'm just on the little grind today. I'm not catching, or this trip, I'm not catching many big ones, but fish is a fish. Little cromer. Get right back in. There you go. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Been working this morning. Bite's really been tough, but uh, this one took a white zonker, so we've been switching up, trying a lot of stuff, so got a nice one.
Little guy. There he goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over my setup and rig in this video. I do do it quite often, but I do get a lot of questions about it. So to start off, I got the 13 foot closer by Lama Glass. This is a four to eight pound line rated rod. This is by far my favorite rod for Michigan or for Ohio. Great rod. The 13 feet is very good for keeping your line off the water. It also absorbs really big head shakes. And yeah, going to my reel, I have a five inch John Milliner. This is the Kingfisher. I got it in gold and black. And then for my rig, I'm gonna start out with 16 pound chromium. This is a staple for me. I love my chromium. Super great floating mono. And yeah, I've had zero problems with it. And I've had this line on for, I'm not gonna lie, two years. So still works great. Going down, I have a Blood Run Float. This is 11 gram. I use a bigger bobbers down here, just so it shows up on the cameras a little better. That's just pinned up on surgical tubing on the line. And then I just have staggered shot, simple staggered shot to a swivel. And then I'm going to eight pound fluorocarbon FC Sniper. And then I'm just running beads and bags. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As the day came to an end, I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day on the river. I got to spend some great quality time with my father, which I cherish very much every day. Even though the bite on the water wasn't the best, I was still very satisfied with how the weekend went. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys next time on Obsessed Angling TV. Thanks for watching.